Hello kit heads, welcome back. We are talking kit, the home of the greatest football kit content in the whole entire world. And yes, we are back for what is fast becoming my favourite series on this channel. It's Desert Island Kits, where we sit down with a kit collector to pick five shirts that they would take away to a Desert Island with them. I am of course double A as always. If it's your first time talking kit, be sure, if, even if it's not your first time talking kit, you should be doing it anyway. Smashing a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. As you probably can tell, we are trying to grow rapidly. And yeah, by you, you're the only one that can help us do that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. But no, I'm really excited about this episode. It's someone, when you think, when you make up series or when you think of a series, and there's certain people you definitely want to speak to. And he's now a friend of the channel after desperately acting like a, a bit of a stalker and trying to get him on the channel. He's, always, he's on it all the time though. He's, he's almost on it more than me. And I love that because it's all about making friends in this community. It's the one and only Ziki, mate. How are you doing, pal? You okay? Hello. Yes, I am all good. Thank you very much. Yes, how are you? I'm, I'm amazing, mate. Like I say, really excited to have this conversation with you today and uh, find out which shirts you would choose because, you, you know, you're, you're very vibrant, very colourful. And your collection, as well as the photographs you take of your collection, is up there with one of the best mates. So I'm interested to see what it is you'd be taking away with you. Yeah, I'm excited as well. And I thought after months of you just being like, please, please come <laughs> on to it, I was like, all right, I'm going to have to do this time. Uh, no, no, I'm not he hasn't actually done that. <laughs> I um, have. I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit it, mate. I have. I've begged you. And there's, there's been times I've come away thinking, you must think I'm really weird. I am, but you know, you don't really want to be showing that so so no. soon to a relationship, friendship, or whatever you want to call it. Um <laughs> Well no, mate, thank you so much for coming and, and wanting to talk about five of your shirts. It, it means the world, it generally does mean the world. So, yeah, well. so what's your sort of your body count now? What's your number at in terms of your collection? Oh, I really should have updated this um i th i think it's around 150 now which is a fair amount um and i mean this is all from the last two two and a half years yeah. um so i have racked up quite a few um and like when i was also doing my 2022 um sort of count up yeah i realized that i'd bought too many last year <laughs> so um this year i might not buy as many i think i'm gonna tone it down a little bit okay then so we've asked for five but are there any that narrowly missed out and just sat on the bench as a sub in your list mate yeah well i would think if people on the outside were looking at this they would they would think, me, I would choose this one specific shirt. Yeah. And if you see behind me, it's not there. Mm -hmm. And that's because it has just missed out. Um, so it is the Norwich Egg and Cress. So this might surprise a lot of people. Me as well, I was a bit shocked uh, myself. Um, but how I'm looking at it is that I'm only going to take ones that I will wear. I don't think that I would wear that one, but all of these ones, I will. Is that because that shirt means probably more than, than the rest and it's a, a worry of getting that? I see damage, I don't know. Bird poop on it, I don't know. It, so it looks like it's got bird poop, I read it. I'm... It does, it does, yeah. <laughs> but is, is it a case of you'd like to keep that? totally pristine and, and nothing to happen to it rather than anything else yeah and also it's it is quite a delicate material that i feel would probably not last too long so i wouldn't really want to risk it these ones i think will be okay personally for me like you say that you associate you with the yellow and green that's mm. like the colors you most associate with you so to not see it was a bit surprising but I get your reasons. It, it's it's fine. Also, I think there's another reason why it's not in there. Do you want to tell people why it's maybe not there? <laughs> um, well, 
<laughs> so basically, I I had those five and also this one lined up, and I basically walked in and and, and I said, right, Ellen, <laughs> which five would you choose? And she was in the mindset. She loves the three modern ones yeah. on that side, um, and basically hated all of the other ones. So this one was the one that that she hated more than those two. Um, <laughs> so I was sort of like, okay, I'll leave this 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 one out, and also it just means that I can give a bit more love to other ones that I may not do as much cool okay then let's get into shirt number five then what's your first shirt that you're going to take on this desert island let us know so number five is the Bayern Munich 2021 third shirt so it's it's almost tactical in that it it looks like mountains right so if if I need it I can sort of hide in the rocks okay and (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and then I won't get like attacked by I don't know birds or uh, I don't know what's going to be there. Any desert island? I don't know. Um, yeah, alligators. Anything that, that it's it's a good way of thinking. It's a it's a good yeah. way of thinking. Mate. Why not be practical? It's some camouflage. You, you you blend in well. I don't think there is anything else like that one in how it actually looks. And it's it is also the player version, so it's it feels really nice it would be a really nice material as i wouldn't really want anything on me that's i don't know scratchy or too heavy or too hot so there are lots of different reasons there but it's it's just a lovely one though isn't it really no yeah it's you know one of the standout shirts for the last couple of years i think and you saw the reaction certain shirts have that massive reaction when they're released you know you think of you know the, the Barcelona one behind me, and, and and you've got there as well. And there's certain shirts that have been released the last couple of years, but that one for me, and I think by, a lot of buying shirts, the home shirts is the home shirt, and you're always going to get that same colour scheme, and you kind of just blend in a lot like Ajax home shirts. And it's where the creativity really lies within those home, uh, away and third. Again, a lot like Ajax, and I mean any Adidas team. You talk about United, Arsenal. Um, Juve, Real or Ajax would have been fuming that they didn't get that design because I think it's really stood, it'll stand the test of time it'll be a yeah, modern day yeah. classic for, for many years, it's a great It's a great choice even even with the added practical use that you've, you've thrown in there mate, visually it's it's, it's a stunning start to, to your five shirts mate, I love it we'll go on to uh, your fourth choice then mate, and what's your, your next shirt for us? Okay, so I have gone for the Barcelona 2022-23 away, which you also have. I but do, yeah. the difference between ours is that mine's sponsorless. Uh, uh, no, yours is. I think most most other people liked it sponsorless more than with the sponsor. But I, I just love it with it. I just yeah. think it adds that little a bit extra. And also, I'm always on Spotify all the time. So it's, it, it is a really good one in terms of me personally. Yeah. Um, and I mean, this this could work as well as as a bit of like camouflage in the sand. You could- <laughs> Actually would, yeah. Lie down in the sand and hope no one gets you. Um, <laughs> unless they're obviously there to um, rescue you. you. Maybe you would want that, but yeah. Um, but it's, it's just, it's just really, really nice. Um, mine's also the player version as well. Yeah. So it also, if I'm wearing it, it's it really, really nice. Breathable, lightweight, all of that. It's up there with the, I would say, with the best um, releases of last year as well, with another one that is actually now my third choice as well. I'm going to be talking about that one. Those, those two are my are two of my top three releases of last year. Mate, I, I put mine on because I know it was in your list and I thought it, it, it's nice to have that sort of different different versions of it. But no, I mean, a brilliant shirt. And like you, it was, it was definitely in my top 10 um, from this year. You mentioned it briefly there, your, your third pick. What is it you've gone for? So it's the 
Malaga, 22-23 away. As everyone can obviously see here, I'm a big believer that pink makes everything better. Uh, so so that has like an, it's got a ombre yeah. effect. Starts off with a dark sort of purpley and then it gets lighter and lighter and then it's a really nice pink underneath at the bottom and it's got roses all over it yeah i, I just think it's it's a really beautiful shirt anything that that has roses on it or anything like that it's it really adds a little bit extra i know that there are lots of shirts recently that do have them on there um so it might get to the stage where it's overdone i yeah. don't know but right now i'm all over that and so i also like that it isn't one of the bigger clubs another great choice in, in your five at number two then on your shirt you would take on a desert island mate. it's the dortmund now now i need to remember what year it is um 90 like three four i think or four or five i'm really bad for that sort of thing <laughs> um all right man. yeah this this is this is one that i've had for a while now um it's one of the ones i've had for the longest i think it's got to be coming up for two years now it is one that not many people have mm -hmm. in long sleeved and I, I just think obviously of that era dortmund had a lot of really they were really out there but a lot of them sort of looked quite alike and which is what happens with this one as well you've got the home which is the vibrant yellow and yeah. then the and then this one's obviously white which i think is really clean um, i don't normally go for too many white there's just something about it because it has a really nice pattern in it which i think is the is the badge or something like that i, I can't yeah. remember how I mean, I I should probably have it here with me, and then I can look at it <laughs> there. Um, but no, it's it's really nice, and it also will help if I am out there and it's cold, and it's got long sleeves, and I can wrap up and I can sort of be like this with my nice <laughs> shirt. So yeah, because the temperature will drop at night, mate. So having them long sleeves, you can you can change into is definitely going to help. I I agree with you in in, in that shirt being really out there i think was it tom from el classico had he had a version of the same pattern the one with the on the sleeve i can't remember which team it was but it looked it looked like it could have been a, a nigeria shirt from that same period but you know we had alan uh march on the full kit rankers and he was talking we were talking about the dortmund shirts and he's of that mindset that maybe the dortmund 90 shirts are a little bit overrated for what they are and it's kind of seen as a must have sort of item in, in certain people's collections but I, I get where he's coming from but i think they are such staples of of how vibrant and colorful and wonderful football shirts are because they were so different because they represent the 90s in such a beautiful way and i think they, they, they deserve to be lauded for for what they are personally on a personal sort of looking at the shirts i actually prefer the the away shirts to the home ones i think you think of the the black ones with the yellow, the little yellow trimmed and bits in. I think I, I really stunning shirt. It's beautiful. I got yeah. close to one not too long ago for the nineties, and yeah, I almost bought it straight away. It was just stunning. And but the, the white one for sure because it's very different. You know, you think of Dortmund being yellow, yellow and black, and you kind of stick to that. So I then have a white one with black. It it, it draws your eye to it because it, it's so out there for for. For Dortmund, it's it's a beautiful shirt, mate. It's definitely, I'm I, I'm not surprised. You know, it's it's in your five, and one of the ones you've got, especially long sleeve as well. You must be made up with that shirt. Yeah, and and I do think that the nineties um, Dortmund ones are probably slightly overrated. I would say, um, yeah. especially the home, because it I would say it is a bit too vibrant. It's a bit too much. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm obviously. Well, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's it's that neon yellow, yeah. 
it's I like it. pretty much I am lucky that I bought that one about two years ago and and I'm not really ever gonna let it go. So Well clearly not because you're taking it to another yeah. angle, you mate, obviously. Brilliant. I mean, yeah, a stunning shirt. And one could be on many people's list as number one. But we are at your number one now, so very excited to see what it is that you've taken as your number one shirt to a desert island, mate. It's the third version of the Egan Crest Ribeiro, um, which is the 93, 4, I think, or 4, 5. Honestly, I'm so bad. <laughs> um, third shirt, yeah. uh, which is actually... So my version is the UEFA Cup version. And it has the 93, 94 underneath it, uh, which is really, really nice because they did wear this one in the league, but then they wore this version, obviously, in the um, in the Euro for Cup where we went on our little run. The only thing that we really have in our sort of history where we beat Vitesse Arnhem and then we beat Bayern Munich the only English team to to win at the Olympic Stadium and the only ever team, as it was the first and last. So it's, it is quite a thing to have, but we like to cling on to those sort of things because we don't have anything else. So it's just really, really nice. It has, has the yellow cuffs and yellow collar. Quite a controversial combination because obviously with Ipswich, they are... They are blue. Yeah. So we don't have too many that are blue. And that that one is. Yeah. But I think it it does really, really work. It's the best of that trio because the away shirt is the white with wow. the purple sleeve, which yeah. is also really, really good. But as trios go, that's our top tier one so it was it was hard to pick one out of those three i would say yeah. they were the ones that i was really humming and ahhing over so yeah I, I would say that one's probably my number one and i i would happily wear that one out even though it is quite rare mate what what a five i'm absolutely made up that you've, you've spent this time with us and, and talking through five amazing shirts for all varying different reasons some practical reasons and, and just some reasons why Collecting is, is so fun, mate. If I had to get you to pick one, the other four are going to get washed away or et by a crocodile, carried off by a bird. Which which one of the five would you keep? So it would be the Norwich because I would struggle to buy that one back. But the others, maybe, maybe the I think the Dortmund would take a little while, but I could probably buy the others back. If they did just wash away, then and I did have to just grab one of them, I would have to be grabbing that Norwich one. Mate, thank you so much for, for coming on and showing us five wonderful, six wonderful shirts from your collection, yeah. really. Uh, well, seven if you count the one you're wearing as well. Um, thank you so much, mate. It's been, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's... I've also watched all of your other ones, and they are awesome. I love to just see what everyone else is also going to pick um, as most people pick different ones, which is really, really good. It makes that just means everyone's collections are unique, which is the exciting part of it all, isn't it really? But yeah, no, I've absolutely loved it. Thank you very much for having me on. It's been really good. So there we go then. Another person has taken five shirts away to a desert island. We'll be back with another episode of Desert Island Kits to find out which legend from the kit community is going to show us and showcase five of their shirts as always if it is your first time talking kit be sure to smash a like on the video subscribe to the channel just make sure you do it why not and also hit the bell notification for when we drop new content we'll be back very very soon but as always just make sure whatever you do keep talking kit